Hello friends, this is Pastor Jamie. It's good to be back with you again in this uh, video today as I continue to read The Ballad of Simon's Hope. This is a short story that I wrote uh, back in 2014 and I'm so excited to be able to share it with the students of our preschool and daycare uh, this year as part of our Lenten experience. Uh, this is a story that features Simon the Bear with Caddy the Caterpillar. I have had other friends that have been part of other stories in the past, like Ty the Monkey, Beth the Rabbit, and, and so many others here that uh, maybe the students remember last year and other times I've brought them up for story time. They always get a kick when I bring my friends up and they enjoy giving them hugs and pets uh, when, we, when we visit. Hopefully they've got their friends at home and maybe they're holding on to one of their favorite stuffed animal friends right now, sharing this video with them, showing them uh, you know, how some of their distant stuffed animal friends at church help out with uh, story time at church. Today we are reading chapter 3 of The Ballad of Simon's Hope. Let's find out about today's adventure with Simon and his caterpillar friends. Simon the bear has five caterpillar friends. Caddy, Red, Leaf, Rainbow, and Bud. Leaf, Rainbow, and Bud were really worried because their friends, Caddy and Red, had become something mysterious Simon called cocoons. Simon said, my friends, something new is happening. You need to have hope. Leaf asked, you keep telling us to have hope, but what is hope? Simon said, hope is trusting that something new is happening. Even when you can't always see what that something new is going to be. Leaf asked, So when I hope for leaves for lunch and then I get leaves for lunch, that is hope? Simon said, Well, sort of. But you know you will ha eat lunch. And it's fairly safe to say you will eat leaves for lunch. Leaf said, Yeah. I love leaves for lunch. I could le eat leaves for lunch every day. Simon laughed. <laughs> you do eat leaves for lunch every day. Leaf asked, So what is the hope you tell us to have? Simon said, Well, look at the cocoons that Caddy and Red became. I said, have hope, something new is happening. And maybe you don't know what is going to happen, but I trust something new is happening. Leaf asked, is hope always this hard to trust? And Simon answered, sometimes it is, but this hope never fails. Leaf asked, how do you know? Simon answered, that is the thing. I don't know. I just hope. After they talked, Simon suggested they go swimming. And the three caterpillars climbed onto Simon's back, and he walked down to the creek. It was such a sight to see a bear splashing in the deep creek with his three friends. As the sun was setting, Simon carried his friends home to the woods. They climbed off Simon's back onto the branch where Caddy and Red both hung in their mysterious cocoons. Leaf then started to complain that he didn't feel very well. Leaf said, I don't feel very well. Simon asked, Do you think it's how Caddy or Red felt? Leaf said, I hope so. Is that right? Simon nodded. That night, the wind blew really hard. It shook the tree and the branch the caterpillars slept on. When they woke up, the caterpillar friends could not find Leaf, but instead found in his place another cocoon. The two caterpillars were very worried and afraid. The strong wind did something to their friend. Simon said, have hope, my friends. Something new is happening. 
parents, I hope you have an opportunity to talk about hope with your kids. I know it's a really difficult thing to talk about in these days, but uh, hope is very much so still alive and very important. And even as things change so much around us, it is important to find a way to talk about hope with our young ones and to make sure that they do understand that uh, we will make it through this time together and that the things we used to do, we will one day be able to do again. I hope you join me next time for our next video when we read chapter four. Have a great day.